Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot. Oh, I got the train going fast. <laughs> um, this is for the full moon reading. Alright, and I believe that is on the 9th. There you go. The 9th of March. Okay, spirits. We have roses, romance, affection, and love. We have supportive friend, sibling, pet, soulmate, healthcare provider, dependable, helpful, faithful companion. We have the bedroom. Oh, yeah. Ooh, then we have the third person. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> What else we got here? Oh, the mother load, prosperity jackpot. Okay, maybe it's time to go buy that lottery ticket. <laughs> Sudden wealth on easy street. Woo! <laughs> Fortune. Okay. And we have communicate, negotiate. Okay, debate. Nervous. ADHD. No, uh, noisy text or call someone. And then we have a vibrant, abundant life, happy, comfortable, leisure, good health, balance. We have standoff, no way out, non-committal, blocked, refusing to compromise. We have compass, discovery, life path, seeking truth, direction, finding your way. Okay, so I feel like you may have gotten into a uh, dating, there was love, affection, romance, maybe you felt this person was pretty loyal, would be faithful, like a faithful companion to you. Maybe you even had sex with them and then you found out there was someone else involved here. Um, maybe you felt this, you had uh, hit the mother load, this was your person. Um, until you found out there was a third person. Maybe you communicated or were nervous to communicate this. Maybe you stopped talking to this person. I kind of feel like you just continued on with your self and just kind of didn't really discuss too much here. I feel like you may have even blocked this person who is refusing to compromise. You're just seeking truth here to find your way. Yeah, there's an implementation of a strategy here. Mm. Yeah, trying to break free. Wild versus tame, strong emotions, desire. A driving force, a sexual energy to be free, unleashing the um, the inner beast. So I feel like maybe somebody wasn't ready to get into a commitment quite like that. They were still hanging on to a third party. Maybe this third party had money. I feel like this person maybe called you or texted you and you were already having your wishes coming true. You were already starting something out. You're happy, comfortable, leisurely. I feel like you maybe you already went through some bad energy here. There, do you realize this person wasn't was non-committal and you're just seeking truth you're trying to find your way to know where you were going to make a plan maybe to explore more with this person until you find this out maybe you still went to this person even you suspected but I feel like maybe you didn't listen to your intuition here and you realize that maybe they don't want a commitment. That maybe they're a bit of a player player. Let's see. What else do we have? For the collective. For the full moon. 
Yeah, <laughs> I can't make this up. Tornado. <laughs> Storm brewing. I feel like this really tore you up here. Yeah, you have family values. You have a belief system. You're quite traditional. Um, I feel like you are a person of commitment. You're not one to just go out and have sexual energy. I feel like you may even be um, saving yourself for your relationship. Yeah, this is divinely guided. You may have gotten some some type of guidance from the divine. Maybe you got into spirituality here. This is faded. This is a sense of duty that maybe you're, <clears throat> yeah, you're transforming and changing from. You're moving on your life's journey. You're going away one direction on track. So whatever you're doing right now, um, if you are transforming, you are maybe have some duty to the divine, like you are doing God's work, spirit's work, whoever you believe in. And I feel like this has really transformed you. Yeah, activating and renewing you. Let's get some star cards here and see what comes up for the star cards. We have the mirror reflect. I hold the mirror up to see and accept and love all of me. So there's some self-love going on here. We have the inner temple, life's lessons. I go within my shadow for deep spiritual growth. So you're doing your shadow work. Nice. I'm liking this. See here, we have the aquamarine star expression. I express my intuition and self-confidence and love. And I feel like you're finding who you are. The amber star. Let go. I surrender and allow myself to grieve. And I feel like you did that. You or you have are doing that, or you're in the process of doing your shadow work and healing here. We have the winged messenger creation. Spiritual direction inspires my creative flow. I feel like you may have some gifts here from spirit that you're tapping into or realizing here. You may be a messenger or have messages from your loved ones or past over loved ones or spirit could be spirit guides that are speaking to you maybe your clear audience maybe you are getting visions or maybe you just have that knowing and that's clear sentient the huntress quest yeah i do feel like you're doing some type of duty here for spirit with the cross destiny spirit divinely guided necessity sorrow emotional loss and then you have duty crisis and fate I feel like you're that sense of duty for spirit here. You're doing a quest. You're meant to do something here. And then we have the enchanter dream. I wish upon a star and my dreams come true. I feel like you might be, um, you can manifest. You're an alchemist too. I feel like you transform things into something new. What else do we have here? We have the temple, home. I no longer search outside myself for home. Yes, you've, you've learned to love yourself and you don't need anyone. There's a difference. Being Needing somebody is being codependent, okay? That you can't be alone by yourself, okay? Like for a long stint of time or whatever. Um, I feel like that codependency and feeling like someone else is meant to make you happy is that codependency. It's within yourself that you find that happiness. It's about finding who you are again and realizing your worth. Maybe people have tried to take that from you. 
or made you feel less than, made you doubt your own intuition. Let's see. Father of the sky, God, I received the weight of the world. Oh, I released the weight of the world from my shoulders. So you've given it to spirit. You've you've let this all go. Wow, and you are in the flow. Wow, that's just beautiful. Wow. The Ruby Star. Flow. I can't make it up. <laughs> I uh, said you're in the flow and then it's flow. I embody my authentic and sensual essence. And you are found yourself, I feel like this is so wow. I love that. Look at that. I'm not kidding when I say that. Oh my camera. It's not gonna do it. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but it is the Ruby Star and Flow. Let's do some moon cards here and see what comes up. We have Don't Let Your Past Hold You Back. There you go. So if that past comes back around, say uh, goodbye to that. You are good enough. Full Moon in Virgo. And South Node is having your past holding you back, okay? And we have Hold Your Vision, Fixed Moon. So if you have goals that you've set for yourself, manifested things, and you're working towards those things, yeah, conclusions are within reach. Full Moon Eclipse. Wow, this is just a great reading. Let's see, that's too many. Spirit, can I just get one? For the winged messenger. Okay, we have <clears throat> surrender to the divine full moon, which is um, on the 9th of March. And we have the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini. So that's in May. So maybe you will get your answers and your fulfillment in May here. We have show the world the real you. So maybe you have um, some social media channel or you are um, just being going out and maybe people really love your energy. Maybe they uh, want to stop and talk with you, people you don't even know. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries, which is, um, I'm trying to think here, January, February is Aquarius, March is Pisces, um, so April. So maybe in April, you're going to meet somebody. Okay, that's too many spirit. Can I just get one, please? Thank you. And we have meditate and comp or meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. So I feel like you're going to meditate. You're going to get some answers here in which direction you need to go. And it's going to come in, uh, in April, March, April, I'm feeling Pisces, Aries, somewhere in there. Oh, and then we have balanced spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces. So <clears throat> things are really going to change for you in March, which is now. Um, this is the full moon for March on the 9th. So I feel like from here, from the ninth on, things are really going to balance spiritually for you. And you're going to be able to um, balance those two things, practicality with your spirituality. So it's not all about one thing and it's not at all about the other. It's a nice combination of a balance here. I'm feeling balance. Let's get my cards here. Oops. Go. 
Alright, let's see here. What are we getting? Okay, so this is falling on the south node here. Don't let your past hold you back. What they told you is an illusion to get you in bed, okay? So don't let the past hold you back, especially if they come back around. You are go good enough, okay? Knock is at the door. It is not at all who you expect it to be. Wow. Hold your vision. So don't let anyone talk you out of something you've already set up for yourself, okay? You do you. And if somebody comes into your life, they have to accept you for who you are, what you're doing, and they have to believe in what you're doing as well. I feel like that will be a part of the spirituality belief and practicality, okay? They don't have to believe what you do, but they can't hold that against you and have that as part of something you have to give up in order to be with them, okay? Then, then maybe they're not your person. So hold your vision. Don't limit your challenges. Challenge your limits, okay? And then we have conclusions are within reach. Assess your path. Plant new seeds. So maybe you need to re- Think about maybe what you maybe want to do. Maybe you've wrote some things down and you can't decide on what you want to manifest, what path you want to take, what you want to be doing. And um, because you always have the good and the bad. So if you want something, there's always a counterpart to that, right? So there's always another aspect of something there. So really choose well um, surrender to the divine I divine I trust divine timing and what awaits me next so you've surrendered and you're you're trusting divine timing here the answers you need are coming this magnetic pull has spooked your person they are scared to love you uh, I feel like this magnetic pull is kind of making them nervous um, about this connection. It might be something that is um, <laughs> scary because of the way it makes them feel. Okay? So we have show the world the real you. I am so in love with you. Love your soulmate. <laughs> wow. And that's coming on the full moon of Aquarius. So maybe it's an Aquarius that is in love with you. A fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. <laughs> Shocking and sudden, but it's temporary. You will bounce back. So <laughs> maybe somebody catches you off guard here. This knock at the door <laughs> here. It's maybe something that really sets you like spiraling like holy shit <laughs> and you can't believe it wow so meditate and contemplate oh my god your someone has hidden emotions for you and true love is coming <laughs> oh this is beautiful collective oh i want to talk to you please <laughs> Wow, and they are coming forward, moving on to a life's journey, a new endeavor, and then you're in the flow, and I feel like this person might be with you on that. They may have been doing their healing as well. Wow, this is beautiful. Well, I really like this for you, Collective. This is your full moon reading for March 2023. All right, guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. And um, if you want to donate, all the information's in the description box. If you want to send me a gift, maybe some tarot cards you want me to use, make sure you put your name on the box. Um, and I will thank you on camera. My mailing address is down below as well. So, all right, guys, take care. Love ya. And we'll see you next time. Later.